Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online as a freelancer and also talk about different tech tips. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you Canva's new magic edit tool, which is 100% free right now. You do not need a pro account to use this. And we're going to use this tool to transform our photos, which could be horrible quality, not very professional, and turn them into something that we can use as a headshot on your business webpage, your Instagram, your LinkedIn profile. So all you need to do is sign up to Canva. You can click on my link in the description below if you want to try this out. So basically what you want to do is find some photos of yourself that you want to try to transform into headshots. We're going to click here on create a design and then click import file and locate the file that you're going to edit. So here I have a really old photo of mine. You can see it's kind of pixely. It's not professional at all. And I wanna show you how we could transform this and make it into a headshot. So then we're going to click use in a new design and then just click custom size and you can choose whatever size you want. I wanna keep it as a square. Let's put the size a thousand by a thousand pixels and click create new design. The first thing we're going to do is change this background into a corporate background and you don't need to have Canva Pro to do this. So we're gonna click on the image then click edit photo. And then you can see here we have a new tool called magic edit and it's not pro like the background remover or magic eraser. So let's click on magic edit and you have to brush over where you want to edit the image. So we can adjust the brush size. I'm going to make it quite big and I'm going to brush over this entire background. Okay. So just go ahead and do that take your time with it. And I want to go close as I can to my head because they have a tendency somewhere sometimes to make your hair almost too big. So I'd rather go as close as I can, even if I'm cutting off some of my hair, that's okay. And we're going to change my outfit using this later on because it's not very professional to show your shoulders in a headshot uh, and have a tank top on. But the first thing we're going to do is just erase this background to replace it with a corporate background. What I love about this is you don't have to have any Photoshop skills to do this. Anyone can do this. So once you've done that, we're going to go over and click continue. And then you're going to tell AI what you want to generate in its place. So you can see here, it says some things like faces or hands may not look quite right. So if you're trying to create uh, an, a hand where there's not one that probably won't work out. In our case, we're going to put corporate background. And then I'm going to put generate. So it's going to give us a bunch of results. And if we don't like the results, we can keep trying until we are, find one that we like. Background, okay, this one I think is probably my favorite. We're just gonna click generate new results. Actually, this one I quite like. So I'm going to click done. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to edit this so that it gives me a professional outfit because this is not professional. So we're going to go back to the magic edit tool and make sure that you do one thing at a time. So we first did the background. Now we're going to do the outfit. I'm actually going to remove my hair too, because sometimes it's intelligent enough to know that to add hair in there, or it might just give me shorter hair. And I kind of want to see what it's going to come up with. I'm going to go like this and make sure to get all of me. And I'm going to put continue. And then I'm going to say corporate business outfit for woman and then generate. Now, sometimes it will come out up with some crazy stuff. So you just have to keep generating until you find something that you like. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with this. This one looks quite good. Here's another one. This makes me look a little strange. This one's a bit better. Let's click generate new results again. I actually kind of like this so I'm this one so I'm just going to press done and I kind of want to make my hair a bit longer because my hair goes down to here. So let's click on magic edit again and this time I'm just going to go like this see if they can add in make my hair a bit longer. Put in long blonde hair. You can see this one here is actually giving me a bit more length so I'm going to click done. You can see if I go back uh, it was short like that before and now it's a bit longer. So now what we could do is click on adjust 
and you can click auto adjust to adjust the colors or go reset adjustments. And we can actually increase the brightness, the contrast, highlights, can even add a vignette to make it a little bit more professional. You could even click on edit photo and go over to the filters and try any of these nice filters on it and then adjust the intensity. And especially if you have a quality of photo like mine that was really pixely and not very sharp, using a filter like this will just help smooth things out so you can't see how pixelated it is. And the higher quality your photo, like mine was really pixelated, it's an old photo, it's a small file size, but if you do one in your bathroom or in your living room and it's on your phone and it's a higher quality file size, you'll have even a better result than this. So now what you can do to download the file is click share, download, and then download whichever page it's on and download it as a PNG file and click done, download. And just like that, we have a super professional looking Im corporate image. Uh, and I looked nothing like that. I was wearing a tank top at the beach in my last photo. And even though this is not super high quality, this could easily be your LinkedIn photo, your LinkedIn profile photo, or your YouTube for your YouTube channel or whatever it is. Because when it's small, it doesn't matter. When it's small, you can't really even see that it's not high quality. So this would be a great photo for your profile picture, for your Instagram page, your Facebook, or your LinkedIn profile, whatever it may be. Another thing I wanted to note is that you might see that the lapel here is kind of folded over. Now, some people might say that that's an error because it should go up all the way, but, but to me, it almost looks like it's part of the design a little bit more modern. So I'm okay with that. You could always ask the AI software to change this or fill in this part here if you wanted it to be filled in. But I personally like the way it looks. I think it looks more modern like that. Okay, so let's do another example. Here's a more recent photograph of myself. So let's say in this example, we're going to do a glamour shot. Let's say I want to change my hairstyle, maybe put it in an updo or make it curly and make this a more glamorized professional photo. I'm going to click on edit photo, then magic edit again. This time I'm going to brush over all the area where I want the hair to be filled. So make sure to brush enough area above the head and at the side and even on the forehead to give the AI more space to come up with different hairstyles. So I'm just gonna brush the whole thing, then click continue. And now I'm going to put in curly wavy blonde hair and then generate. Now, another thing to note is that even though Magic Edit is free, as of right now, you can use it up to 25 times per day. So every time you click regenerate, you're using up one of your uses and you have 25 times in total per day. Okay, so you can see it's given us some pretty crazy options here. A lot of like big Dolly Parton kind of hair. Some of them look a little weird, but this one here is really cool. It gives me this big wavy curly hair, something that would have taken me hours to do if I curled it myself. So I'm gonna select that one and we're gonna make some adjustments. I'm gonna click done, then go back to edit photo, magic edit again. And this time I'm gonna brush a little bit more and ask it to create some more hair in this area. I'm actually gonna stick with this one here and then click done. Now I'm gonna go over here to filters, click see all, and I'm gonna go down to the black and white filters because sometimes if the colors are a little strange, like that color blonde doesn't really match with my skin tone, when I use a black and white filter, it kind of neutralizes it and makes it all look more natural. I'm gonna crop the photo a little bit, then click on edit photo again. This time go to adjust, click on auto adjust, and you can adjust any of the sliders that you want and add a vignette as well to make it a bit more professional. And now just click download. And now it's completely transformed my photo, given me this amazing curly blonde hair, something that would have taken me so long to do myself. And this would be amazing. Let's say you run a beauty business and you need to have a glamour shot on your website, or you just want a really nice photo for your website. So this is just to show you some of the amazing things you can do with this software. You can fix your outfits. You can add elements to your photos. I could even brush in a little area there and ask it to add in a microphone if I wanted to promote my voiceover business. It's just such a fun tool to experiment with and to create really great professional looking photos. 
with any photo that you take on your camera, even an old photo. So I hope you guys have fun with this. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you've tried it out. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Jennifer Marie for more tips like this one. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.